Hello and welcome to this video where we will illustrate the advantage of using RStudio above the uh, original R version. Let's start with showing you what the original R version will do. And we may want to enter a vector called V2, which contains the following numbers 10.2, 5.6, 0.3, 0.5, 0.6, 0.7. Nine. Now we can view the contents of this vector called V2 by typing just V2, it will show us the contents, uh, all of the numbers that we put in there. And we may also make a box plot of this vector V2 by just typing box plot and then within the brackets put V2. So we can see on the right that the box plot has appeared. And well, you can see that R makes a, a separate graphics device. Uh, that contains the box plot. Now, if we, for example, make an histogram of the same vector, it will be displayed in a similar uh, graphics device. And if I close it, then both of our graphs are gone. If we want to see the contents of our workspace, so all of the objects, all of the, let's say, if I make a few vectors, then all of these objects will be in my workspace. And I can show the workspace by typing ls. And you can see that now only V2 is contained in my workspace. We'll see later on in our studio that our studio has a very nice way of showing us the workspace, much more easily accessible. You don't have to type LS. So let's continue on to our studio. We'll run our studio from the desktop. And we can see we have three compartments of our studio right now. And I'm going to add a fourth one, which is the R script. You can start an R script by clicking this little green thing over here and clicking R script, which will open up a new R script. And an R script is basically a place where you can type in things that will be run in the console. The console is located in the bottom left. And we can run things by either by pressing run. So I just made the vector in the script. I'm going to press run and you can see that the vector V2 is run in the console. Another way of running this vector V2 is by pressing Control Enter when you're in the same line. So I'm on the line here with V2 and I'm pressing Control Enter and you can see that it's being run. Notice that by running V2 it has now also appeared in the global environment or the workspace of R. We can see that V2 is located here and it's got these this content. So V2 is a numeric vector containing five numbers, namely 10.2, 5.6, 0.1, 2.3, and 7.9, as we've seen previously. So we can also make a box plot out of this vector V2. I'm running it by pressing Control Enter. And we can see that the box plot now appears in the bottom right screen. Now, as we did in the basic R version, we can also make a histogram. Just type hist, brackets, v2, control enter to run it. And you can see that the histogram appears in the bottom right of our screen. Our studio allows us to go to our previous plot as well. So we can switch between plots by pressing these arrows. We can go back and forth between the box plot and the histogram. There's a lot more functionality in our studio, which we'll show you in the remainder of the R tutorial. Uh, for now, we'll close this video off by showing you that you can save your script by pressing the Save button and just give it a small name like Tutorial. And you can save your script and you can load your script the next time by pressing this Open button. You can find your old script and you can use it for the next R Studio session. All in all, R Studio adds some functionality to the basic R version. You will now continue on in the main document where you will learn more about vectors and applying basic functions like box plot and histogram yourself.